what's up everyone so right here we've got a fadeaway world article that reads five players that will be traded and five players that won't be traded in the trade deadline so the trade deadline is now two months away the rumor mill is swelling that we're in the beginning to pick up more data on what teams will be buying and selling when that time comes for some teams entering the 2021 2022 season there are question marks about some of their players to the naked eye it appears that bradley beal and ben simmons were surefire trade targets instead they have just stayed in their respective teams as we move forward another to another phase of the season it's evident that some players are very likely to be moved and others are going to be moved eventually as for others we can make an educated guess guess on where on, on, on what they will do or whether they stay put so so this is just an article by fedeway world i just go through the players that will not be traded so you'll start with carl anthony towns despite a four game losing streak that dropped the Timberwolves to the ninth seed in the western conference standings towns is not going anywhere because you know the Timberwolves he's the core main piece in, in that in that in that in that team so before the season there were rumors about his destination being the celtics or the warriors instead neither team wanted to part with their young players or draft assets that worked out well for minnesota as they're having an all-star caliber season if towns doesn't make an all-star they may it doesn't make the all-star team it will be a shock he's averaging over 50 percent shooting 45 percent from three point range in in in, a, in his career so I mean this guy's just been balling out of his mind so combine that with 24 points per game 9.2 rebounds you have the old all you have the old all-star card back on the team so Towns could get the team a haul in return but it appears that the team is perfectly fine with Towns Edwards and D'Angelo Russell at the helm carrying the team to the playoff picture so even if that means playing in the play-in tournament so you can see uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves have their star there this is Carl Anthony Towns is gonna stay put then uh, next up we've got Brandon Ingram Ingram the 20 is the 2022 <laughs> not 2022 Ingram the 2020 most improved player is having a great season individually the problem is that he's such on a bad is on such a bad team that we never get to hear about him Ingram is averaging 32 points 6.3 rebounds 4.7 assists the pelicans are 7 and 20 and they have the worst record in the west a lot of that is to do with the first year coach and number and zan williamson being shut down so that that really had the team so even with williamson out the pelicans are locked in we locked to ingram remember ingram signed that max deal then they haven't seen what Ingram and Williamson can do together over a long period. If Williamson gets shut down, the Pelicans can easily tank without directly telling us they are tanking. So combine a lottery pick with Ingram, Williamson, and some of the other supporting cast. You're talking about a potential climb back to the standings at a quicker rate rather than, you know, what you'll get when you trade away Ingram. So Ingram is going to stay there. He saw that max deal. He took on a a lot of money so i just expect ingram to you know be a pelican for the next like five to six years depending on if he's gonna request the trade down the down the line or yeah that 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 great stuff there you go russell westbrook russell westbrook this it this all comes down to money westbrook is making 41 million this season and is expected to make 47 next year who in the right mind is going to take that Westbrook salary based on his record, his, his, his recent track record? I mean, I actually wondered why the Lakers traded for him. If they could trade for us Westbrook, why didn't they trade for Chris Paul or Damian Lillard? Just, just, just putting it out there. The Rockets were an average team two years ago. The Wizards were below average team last year. Now the Lakers are hovering around 500 as they have LeBron and Anthony Davis. So, I mean... Westbrook being there is he's just eating all the cap space. They can't even sign, you know, good free agents even in the offseason because they have three max players. They've got LeBron, you've got AD, you've got Westbrook. 
having three max players really hinders your ability to sign new people and this is the the reason why trading trading for Russell Westbrook was a bad idea and I feel like the Lakers are going to suffer for it. I know he's not going to be traded, but I expected him to be at least that, you know, being traded in that picture. So the common denominator is Westbrook. His stats are impressive and the world is going to appreciate him for what he has done. However, as a team player, he hasn't been an effective role player since KD left the Thunder. Westbrook hasn't played in a conference final since 2014. He plays hard. No, that's the wrong thing. Because in the, he was in the conference final in 2016 <laughs> fade away world what are you saying what are you doing westbrook choked a 3-1 lead in the con- western conference finals together with kd so yeah he plays hard is tenacious and can average a triple double but this is a team sport so his salary could pay off four elective role players so the lakers are going to have a find a way to make this work with westbrook because they took on his massive salary and uh, they're suffering the brunt of it so if they could trade for Westbrook, what what stopped them from trading for a guy like CP3 though? That's the question that I keep asking myself. Then we've got the man of the hour, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie, I'm not taking a vaccine, Irving. So this drama queen right here, let's just go through him. Will Kyrie ever play this season? That question is so up in the air that it's going to force the Nets to pay for his services without him playing a single game this year. On paper, Irving, Harden and Durant were the big three that are going to match through the Eastern Conference Finals to the NBA Finals the first, for the first time since 2002. Instead, the Nets own the best record in the East with no Irving in sight. So that has to show you like, like the Nets don't even need Kyrie Irving at this point. So, uh, But drama queen Kyrie Irving is not going to take the vaccine. So what can you do? Some teams could use a player like Kyrie Irving and the Nets could use a third superstar which Kyrie has refused to be because he doesn't want to take the vaccine. With that said, no team is going to give out assets if they don't think that this man is going to play this year. Irving's reputation is not helping either so I mean this guy tries to be smart but you know he keeps presenting himself as a stupid person every time especially after last year's near retirement and his injuries in the playoffs. If the public can see that having is not reliable, what, are the, what do you think executives are going to think when you know they trade for this guy? Because this guy has shown that he doesn't care about the team, he doesn't care about basketball, he only cares about his personal satisfaction. And uh, this is what's going to you know, ruin his chances in, you know being <laughs> being in being on the roster being on a potential championship squad because of his you know drama queen uh, he did the same thing with the celtics he was he forced his way out of the cleveland cavaliers in 2017 he went and wet the bed in the 2019 postseason with the celtics in the second round as they beat by the bucks in five games you know he left brooklyn you know he, he had scathingly bad comments especially to his you know teammates um, you know that this time he called LeBron up you know he 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 does does with the Celtics with the with the with the Brooklyn Nets he said he wanted two or three more pieces to contend I mean this man is just crazy enough enough of that guy because he, he's a drama queen then last but not least and the players that won't be traded is Damian Lillard Damian Lillard is off officially off trade talks with the Sixers uh, the Sixers have been told by the Blazers management that this guy is off limits you're not gonna give away this guy so it feels like Lillard wants out it's almost like an unspoken truth at this point it doesn't matter how many times Lillard tells us that he's staying we just don't believe him because you know sometimes these guys are human beings they can change their mind one time they can you know do other things at a time so finally we do believe him Lillard is due 135 million the next three seasons and we are getting poten- a potential glimpse of a regression. His shooting and points total are hovering near his career lows. He's battling injuries. Could this be the downside of the future 32-year-old? I mean, that, that's the thing, man. He once says one thing, he says another thing. The Blazers don't want to trade him. Lillard wants out. So we just have to know. He just has to come concrete and just tell us. Note that this is an exaggerated take. The fact that Lillard has spoken repeatedly about how he feels in, in planning to stay in the town sometimes has something has to be said about Lillard being less than 800 points 
to climb Drexler's all-time points marking marking point Portland. So he is also in the mix for he's also in the mix for Terry Porter's all-time marks all-time marking assist. Once Lillard passes Drexler, this could be a different story, but that won't happen until until after the trade deadline regardless so you can see um this guy has regressed i mean uh, damian lillard is one of those players i like watching you know um he's a clutch player but uh the blazers are clearly wasting his uh, wasting away his talent and i'll actually prefer if these guys just you know make a trade package for him just to ship him out and just ship out Dame, ship out cj just go on full rebuild mode because that duo is not winning a championship now and uh they're not gonna make the western conference finals like they say the way they did in 2019 because the west is loaded so any potential suitors that they can get and a good a good haul of draft picks and assets and key role players they should do it because it's just time to blow up this team just blow it up so yeah man so i'll have your part two of players that will be traded and um i'll just pick it up from there so if you guys like the video like the video make sure to leave your feedback down in the comment section down below make sure to you know subscribe to the channel turn on notification post that you never miss any new videos i'm dropping and uh with that being said man i'm out peace